This week on Machinery Pete TV, some classic workhorses of the orange variety are on this Illinois auction. This low hour 2006 RT 155A really fired up the online bidding. After years of searching, an Indiana collector brings home this 4020. And Pete looks at the growing list of shattered price records for used tractors. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. A&I Products is a lower cost, quality replacement part solution for all types and ages of ag equipment across all brands. Visit AIProducts.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery PTV. We appreciate you taking time to join us this week, and I hope your bags are packed, because we are off to little Dundas, Illinois, farming community in the southeast part of Illinois. Now don't be blinking. There's no stoplights in Dundas under 100 people, but tell you what, it's going to be a worthwhile trip because we are going down to cover the farm retirement auction for Don Zuber. Now this is an online farm retirement auction by our great friends at Sullivan Auctioneers, and we are going to get an up-close look at Don's equipment, and he has a pair of Agco RT series tractors, one owner, low hours, folks. You're not going to want to miss these. Now before we make our way to Dundas, we need to make a little pit stop back in the studio to catch up on the latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. Farmer sentiment bounced in July, according to the latest Purdue University CME Group Ag Economy Barometer. Now the latest reading climbing six points month over month to a reading of 103. Researchers saying the increase was driven by improved outlooks for both current and future expectations. Farmers may still consider it a bad time to invest in capital improvements, however, when asked 44% say the increase in prices for farm machinery and new construction is the reason to keep money in their pocket. If you look at the barometer, the current condition index, and the future expectation index, they're all down nearly 25% compared to this time last year. U.S. farmers remain concerned about a wide variety of issues, but especially higher input costs. 55% of farmers surveyed say they now plan to purchase less machinery in the upcoming year. Big news in the auction business. Big Iron Auctions has acquired Sullivan Auctioneers, merging the two companies. As two of the largest online auction houses in the industry, the business will now go by Big Iron Company and be headquartered in Hamilton, Illinois. A press release says the deal will bring roughly 300 employees together. That's it for news. Now let's check on some auctions from around the country. Now back to our host, Machinery P. Stay with us folks, coming up we're going to check out Don Zuber's 2002 Agco RT145 tractor. He bought it new, it's got 3,840 hours on it. Hey folks, I'm here with owner seller Don Zuber here in Dundas, Illinois. And Don, are you ready for your sale? Uh, real close, I think. I think I am. Now, you were telling me, uh, it wasn't too long ago that you decided to retire? Yes, that was uh, last June is when I retired. Okay. So decided to. And it just felt like uh, time, was, time was right? Yeah, the state was settling. My mom had died a few years ago and the sure. state was settling and stuff didn't work out to keep going, so. Just thought it was the time, and yep. ever since, you know, it's one of them where I just don't look back, and right. I've been happy with my decision since then. Right, and you and Eve your wife Evelyn, three daughters, uh, they, they grew up on the farm here. Your, is it your oldest daughter that works for, is it USDA up in Champaign? Yes, uh-huh. Okay, so they, uh, they uh, have that love of farming 
Yeah, at least at least two of them do. Okay. Okay. Well, what what's it been like here? The run up to the auction uh, auction day, Don. Well, it's been busy, but whenever I'm not doing field work and the prep for for getting ready for the next year, you know, I have had a little more time, but okay. I had a lot of crop to get hauled off ahead of time instead of yep. after the first year. I got most of it done before, which made it real busy. Hey folks, I'm here with Matt Sullivan, Sullivan Auctioneers, and Matt, 20 year old tractor behind us here. Uh, Don bought this thing new, I think. Yep. And it, uh, gosh, it's under 3,900 hours, 3,840. It's, uh, don't see many one owner, 20 year old with, with those kind of hours, do you? No, you don't. You know, the orange is a little different color, mm -hmm. but uh, when we do get the opportunity to sell it, it they sell really well. Yeah, I've noticed you guys uh, on some of your Hamilton, uh, your big consignment online sales, you've, you've sold a couple Agcos recently that uh, really popped. Yes. Um, but you're right, they, they don't show up as often, so it's always a little trickier but uh now a tractor like this matt I, I might date myself but i always want to call this a mid-size <laughs> tractor they've got so big but uh i think don said he used this to uh on his drill is yep. that kind of how he's using it yep for sure i mean it was a primary tractor and yep. you know it uh right it doesn't seem as big but yeah. uh, i mean you can still do a lot with these right. tractors yeah right so a tractor like this a 20 year old one owner lower hour uh just curious, Matt, are you guys seeing with Sullivan Auctioneers, the buying pool has just shifted? I mean, it, it, this thing could wind up anywhere. It could wind up anywhere and same old story. Availability, the price of new, I mean, it that right. has drastically changed what these tractors are worth. Yeah. I, I, uh, at this point, it happens almost all the time. We'll see a tractor like this after it sells, and I'm guessing you know, this one will sell very strong. There'll be a lot of interest in it. Yeah. We'll post the price. And you get that reaction. I'm sure you see it too, Matt. Some people will say, oh my gosh, that's way too high. But then the other 50%, 70% of people pile in and go, actually, no. Right. Because like you said, can you get the new one? And what does that new one cost? That's crazy. Okay, folks, some more orange paint here. A 1981 Alice Chalmers 6080 two-wheel drive. And I'm here with Matt Sullivan with Sullivan Auctioneers. Now, Matt, when you see tractors from the early 80s like this, uh, what does your head tell you? What's your heart tell you? No emissions, a lot less safety features, and uh, <laughs> easy to get on and off of, right? Yes. I, yeah, the, uh, the open station, the, you know, when posting pictures of it over the years, you're kind of torn. I mean, it, we, we appreciate the older tractors, but like yeah. you say, the safety issues. We want people to be careful out there. But, you know, generally speaking, a, a tractor like this, um, seems like just the interest in them has been going up the last couple of years. Would you, is that what you guys are seeing, Matt? Yeah, completely. I think they're more, uh, you know, the generation that maybe grew up on them um, is a little more sentimental to them. Right. Uh, you know, you think back like the two cylinder tractors, I mean, they're phasing out a little bit right. and these are kind of coming into play a little more. Right. Yep. That does make me feel old, though. Sorry. <laughs> uh, in my mid-50s, to, to talk about an early 80s tractor being a, kind of a vintage. But it's totally true. Uh, now, now this one, we don't know the hours on it. But uh, even so, tractors like this, just curious what you guys have been seeing, Matt. Mm -hmm. um, would you say the values have been lifting interest, even though, you know, they're not, you know, pretty ready, 2,000 hours, that type of thing? Yeah, that's correct. You know, the, this tractor will probably still get used on the farm. Mm -hmm regularly right. um, and then when the time comes they can redo it if and how they mm, want to right yeah, yeah a tractor yeah. like this you do run into that where the, someone will buy it you know get a good good price on it with an eye towards making it like that 680 they grew up with For sure the tire grabber is designed with your safety in mind supporting your heavy lifting jobs with a heavy duty jack and tire handler duo for farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires on their home farms, check out The Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com. What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machine Repeat's auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to machinerepeat.com and click on the auction tab, then auction price data. Well, folks, you know, the last three months here, there have been so many record high auction prices set on good condition used tractors. It's just been unbelievable. And so many of these records 
uh, prices have just shattered the previous high. It, honestly, it's been hard to keep track of. Uh, things have been going up so fast. And when I do get a chance to pause for a moment, it makes me think back to before times when certain record high auction prices on tractors, I just figured that certain ones would never be broken. And one of them that I always thought was on a John Deere 8410. And here's a picture of it. Now this thing sold back on September 11th, 2010. So just over 11 years ago, it was a farm auction in Alito, Illinois. And it was a 2000 model, only had 584 hours on it, so for 136,000 bucks. And now, if I remember correctly, and there's a chance that I'm not, because I am getting pretty gray here, but I think the story on that tractor was the owner on it made everyone who got into the cab take their boots off, because he was just obsessed about the condition of the cab. And again, it brought 136K. So that record stood until a few days after Thanksgiving last fall, when on November 29th of 2021, on a farm auction in Kieran, Iowa, the record was broken by this 8410, another uh, 2000 model. Now this one had 6,050 hours on it, but it sold for 140,000 bucks. Again, with 6,050 hours on it. So can you imagine what that one, that 8410 with 584 hours would be worth today? I mean, my head runs to another 10 series tractor we saw shatter a record. This was on November 6th in Maryland. This 98 John Deere 7810 with 914 hours went for 170, which was like over 32,000 over the record. So I think if you had an 8410 today with 584 hours on it, I think she may, she'd be worth 200K. Unbelievable. Welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week, we're off to Southern Indiana to share with you a classic John Deere. This 1972 power shift from John Deere was quite the workhorse in its day. Alan Hoskins has some fond memories of a tractor just like this one from his youth, and he hopes to keep this classic around for a long time. We have behind us a 1972 John Deere 4020 power shift. In the final production cycle of the 72 4020s, that tractor was manufactured about halfway through the cycle and it was shipped to Albany, Georgia on February 3rd, 1972. I had been looking for particularly a 1972 power shift for about five to seven years. The market had been very, very generous to those tractors when you looked at what they were bringing. And I found the tractor at Polk Auction Company in New Paris, Indiana. It was in the condition that you see as we look at it. However, after I bought the tractor and I went out to get it to load it, on the side of the tractor was an envelope hanging that had receipts for approximately $27,000 worth of work that had been done on the tractor. The transmission, the engine, the pump that I was unaware of when I bought the tractor. Even with the condition it's in, my intention is that it will go a complete nut and bolt full restoration in about 18 months. I want to drive the tractor a little bit, use it a little bit, make sure there are no other issues remaining. I do have weights that are to be added to the front and the rear wheels. I do have an original quick hitch to be added. So when I get finished, it will have a full, complete nut and bolt restoration. The 4020 has always been a tractor near and dear to my heart simply because it was the first John Deere tractor that I ever drove when I was about eight years old. Hey, where do you think you're going? Stay tuned folks, coming up our feature item you're not gonna wanna miss. Don Zuber's 2006 Agco RT155A tractor, 3,205 hours on it. I think this baby could be a hot seller. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Hey 
Hey folks, time for a feature item on the show today, a very sharp 2006 Agco RT155A with 3,205 hours, and I'm here with the owner, Don Zuber. Now Don, not many hours on this 06 model. Well, it's been used mostly as a planter tractor. Okay. I, I used it some, I used to pull a Phoenix rotary hoe whenever I was no-tilling a lot, when the early years that I had that tractor. But, okay. uh, and what planter were you pulling behind it? Uh, uh, 12 row Kinsey. Orange and blue, that's a good combo. It worked for me. Yeah. So now did you buy that the uh, RT155 new, Doc? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, and what did you like about it over the years? Well, for one thing, I used to be in the turkey business, and we mm. spread a lot of our own turkey manure. Okay. And it's got a CVT transmission in, okay. so it goes down the road. So, you, you know, you can get back and forth with loads of manure fairly quick. Okay. Uh, top speed, what would you get on this thing? Uh, 32 and a half, 33. Never got any tickets, did you? No, no. No tickets. Okay. No, I don't good. go through towns. <laughs> well, Don, it's, you know, an 06 model like this, 15, 16 years old now with low hours like this, one owner. That's kind of the tractor that everyone's been looking for. I'm curious, have you been getting a lot of interest in it here leading up to the auction? Yes, I, I have quite a bit. Okay. People you know or? Um, mostly from away from here. Okay. Are, are you getting tired of, of feeling calls on your phone leading up to sale day here, Don? Well... It's all part of it? It's all, yeah, it's it's all part of it, yeah. But I've got calls from Northwest Iowa and Michigan and Wisconsin and uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina and places like that. So they, some from a good ways away. Okay, well I was, uh, I was teasing you a little bit, Don, telling you you're going to make our viewers very happy with this orange paint. Uh, Viewers are always after me to get more Alice and Agco stuff. Uh, have you had a lot of Agco tractors back through the years? Uh, for the most part, that's all I remember was Agco. I remember my dad talking about an international, the old internationals. That was it yep. was a lot of years and years ago, okay. and I don't even remember what it was that he had, but I remember him talking about it. Uh, the only one I actually remember was the WD-45. So. Okay, you've stayed pretty true to the to the orange paint over the years, huh? Yes, we have. Well, folks, I know a lot of people were surprised when the calendar flipped to 2022 that high horsepower used tractor values didn't soften up a little bit. And the thinking, which understandable, was that when we took out the year-end tax buyers, uh, which really drove the market late uh, in November and December of 2021, that values would have to soften up. But in fact, what I've seen, almost the opposite values have gone higher. And I think the piece that people are missing or underselling here is just the supply issue on the used lot. Now, if we take a big picture look, here's some data from our machinerypeat.com website looking at 175 plus horse tractors, supply and demand going back two years. And you can see that blue supply line began to tank lower heading south uh, fall of 2020, right? Of course, when commodity prices started to go up, but the line continued to go south. I mean, we're in uncharted waters right now, kind of scary, uh, low supply, and you can see demand outstripping supply. Now, if we get specific with the model, let's look at a John Deere 9620RX track tractor and isolate it to just the 2021 models. Now, if you go to our website, machinerypeat.com, you're shopping for one, you search today and you'll see there's only 18 of them listed. Now that's across the whole country. 2021 model 9620RXs, that's not very many, which explains why we see things like from a December 9th online farm auction in Charleston, Illinois, this 2019 9620RX, 452 hours on it, sold for $538,000, all time record high price on a modern tractor. And again, looking ahead folks, I think because the used inventory is so tight, I think used values on high horse tractors are going to remain high for the foreseeable future. Well, I told you we were going to have fun today on our little trip to Dundas, Illinois, down there to cover the farm retirement auction for Don Zuber. And I tell you, Don's pair of Agco tractors, wow, did they sell strong. His 06 Agco RT155A coming in at 76.5 record auction price by a mile and also is O2 model RT145 uh, at 51,000 bucks that's also a record high auction price for an RT145 sold without a loader folks we'll see you back here next week on machinery beat TV
Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. A&I Products is a lower cost, quality replacement part solution for all types and ages of ag equipment across all brands. Visit AIProducts.com.